Imagine a world where blue eyes didn't exist. Because, believe it or not, there was a time when that was the case. Today, blue eyes are a captivating feature, celebrated in everything from love songs to Hollywood films. But here's the twist. Only about 8-10% to of people around the globe have them. And in the US, where blue eyes were once nearly as common as apple pie, they're now a rare sight, with numbers dwindling by the decades. So what happened? How did this mesmerizing eye color come into existence, and why is it fading away? In this video, we're diving into the incredible story of blue eyes, how a single genetic mutation thousands of years ago sparked the creation of millions of blue-eyed individuals. We'll uncover the secrets behind their unique appearance, trace their spread across the world, and explore the science that explains why blue eyes are becoming a rarity. If you've ever been captivated by the mystery of blue eyes, you won't want to miss this journey into their evolutionary past. Blue eyes might seem like a common trait, especially if you've grown up surrounded by people who have them. But globally, they're actually quite rare. Only about 8-10% to of the world's population has blue eyes. In the United States, the numbers tell an even more fascinating story. At the turn of the 20th century, nearly half of all Americans had blue eyes. Today, that number has dropped to just 17%. So what's behind this dramatic shift? The decline in blue-eyed individuals is largely due to the increasing genetic diversity of human populations. As people from different backgrounds and regions have children together, the dominant brown-eyed genes often overshadow the recessive blue-eyed ones. This genetic blending is a beautiful testament to our ever more connected world. But it also means that blue eyes are becoming less common, especially in places like the US where the population is a melting pot of different ethnicities. But don't worry, the blue eyes aren't going extinct. While they're becoming rarer, they still hold a certain allure that keeps them in the spotlight. Whether it's their striking appearance or the way they've been romanticized in art and media, blue eyes continue to captivate us. And as we'll explore further in this video, their history is as fascinating as the eyes themselves. So how did we get from there to here? Let's dive into the origins of this eye color and how it spread across the globe. Let's travel back in time, way back, to a world where blue eyes didn't exist. Hard to imagine, right? But it's true. Just 10,000 years ago, every human on Earth had brown eyes. Blue eyes, as we know them today, are the result of a genetic mutation that occurred in a single individual between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago, most likely in the Black Sea region of Southeastern Europe. This mutation altered the OCA2 gene, which is responsible for the production of melanin, the pigment that gives color to our hair, skin, and eyes. Here's where it gets really interesting. The mutations didn't turn off melanin production completely. Instead, it created a sort of dimmer switch effect that specifically reduced the amount of melanin produced in the iris, the colored part of the eye. With less melanin, the brown pigment faded, revealing what we now see as blue eyes. This change didn't affect the melanin in other parts of the body, which is why someone with blue eyes can still have darker hair and skin. What's even more fascinating is that nearly all blue-eyed people today can trace their eye color back to that single ancestor. Genetic studies have shown that this mutation occurred in one person, and as their descendants spread across Europe and beyond, so did the trait. This explains why blue eyes are mostly found in Northern Europe, where this mutation first gained a foothold. But why did this trait spread so rapidly? Scientists believe that blue eyes might have offered some sort of evolutionary advantage, possibly related to the long, dark winters of Northern Europe. Alternatively, the trait could have simply been passed down through generations as blue-eyed individuals mated with each other, keeping the gene in circulation. Whatever the reason, the genetic mutation transformed the world's population, introducing a new and striking feature that continues to intrigue us to this day. So we've established that a single genetic mutation thousands of years ago sparked the emergence of blue eyes. But how exactly does this mutation work? To understand that, we need to delve into the science of eye color, where genetics, light, and biology intersect. The key player is the OCA2 gene, which controls melanin production, the pigment that colors our hair, skin, and eyes. This gene works in tandem with others, most notably HERC2, which acts as a switch to turn OCA2 on or off. In brown-eyed individuals, HERC2 ensures OCA2 is fully active, producing enough melanin to give the iris its rich brown color. 
In blue-eyed people, however, the ancient mutation in the OCA2 gene reduces melanin production in the iris. This results in less pigment in the stroma, the front tissue of the iris, which causes the blue color we see. But here's the catch. Blue eyes aren't actually blue like a shirt or a car. The reduced pigment allows light to scatter as it passes through the iris, reflecting shorter wavelengths of light, which appear blue, similar to how the sky looks blue, a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. This also explains why blue eyes can vary in shade, from pale ice blue to deep violet, depending on the pigment's presence and the light interaction. The science behind blue eyes is a delicate balance of genetics and light, creating one of the most striking features in the human population. But how did this rare trait spread so widely across Europe? In the next section, we'll explore the evolutionary journey of blue eyes and why they became so common in certain parts of the world. While blue eyes might seem like a straightforward trait, their inheritance is anything but simple. Traditionally, we were taught that eye color follows a basic pattern. Brown eyes are dominant and blue eyes are recessive. If both parents have blue eyes, their children should too, right? While that's generally true, the genetics behind eye color are much more complex than this simple model suggests. Eye color is influenced by multiple genes, up to 16, according to recent research. The two most important genes are OCA2 and HERC2, which we've already discussed. These genes interact in a way that determines how much melanin is produced in the iris, thus deciding whether someone has brown, green, hazel, or blue eyes. But because of this genetic complexity, eye color inheritance doesn't always follow a predictable path. For example, two blue-eyed parents almost always have blue-eyed children, but it's possible, though rare, for them to have a brown-eyed child. This can happen if the parents carry hidden variations in other eye color-related genes that interact in unexpected ways. On the flip side, two brown-eyed parents can sometimes have a blue-eyed child if both carry the recessive blue-eyed allele and pass it on to their offspring. It's these hidden alleles and the interactions between multiple genes that create the fascinating diversity of eye colors we see today. In essence, the inheritance of eye color, particularly blue eyes, is a complex genetic puzzle with many pieces. While blue eyes are recessive, their presence in a population can be influenced by various genetic factors, making their inheritance a fascinating and sometimes surprising process. This complexity only adds to the mystery and allure of blue eyes, making them a subject of ongoing scientific study and human fascination. Now that we know how blue eyes came to be, the next question is, how did they spread so widely, particularly across Europe? After all, if blue eyes started with a single individual, you might expect them to remain a rarity. Yet, in some regions, especially in Northern Europe, blue eyes became the norm. So what drove the widespread adoption of this once unique trait? One theory suggests that blue eyes might have offered a subtle evolutionary advantage, particularly in the Northern latitudes of Europe. These regions experience long, dark winters with limited sunlight. Some research proposed that lighter eyes, including blue, might have been better at capturing and using the scarce light available during these months. This could have given blue-eyed individuals a slight edge in survival, perhaps by enhancing their vision in low-light conditions. But there's another factor at play, sexual selection. Blue eyes are often seen as striking or attractive, possibly because of their rarity. In early human societies, where small, isolated communities were the norm, blue-eyed individuals might have stood out making them more desirable mates. Over time, this could have led to more blue-eyed children, gradually increasing the trait's prevalence in certain populations. Interestingly, genetic evidence supports the idea that blue eyes spread rapidly across Europe. Studies have shown that blue-eyed individuals tend to share a common haplotype, a set of genes inherited together, indicating that they all descended from the same ancestor. This genetic link suggests that once the trait appeared, it didn't take long for it to become widespread particularly as human populations migrated and expanded throughout Europe. So whether due to the demands of the environment, the allure of the rare and beautiful, or a combination of both, blue eyes managed to carve out a significant place in human populations, particularly in the northern regions where the trait still thrives today. As we've seen, the spread of blue eyes across Europe and beyond was influenced by both environmental factors and the allure of rarity. But there's another layer to this story one that ties all blue-eyed people together through a single point in history. Genetic studies have revealed that nearly all individuals with blue eyes share a common ancestor. This means that every person with blue eyes today can trace their lineage back to that single individual 
who first carried the mutation in the OCA2 gene thousands of years ago. This shared ancestry is evidenced by the fact that blue-eyed individuals often share the same genetic markers, specifically in the HERC2 gene, which regulates the OCA2 gene responsible for melanin production. This genetic link suggests that the mutation didn't just appear independently in different populations, it was passed down from one person and spread across generations. While we may never know the identity of this first blue-eyed person, the genetic connection among all blue-eyed people today is a fascinating reminder of our shared human history. It's a story of how a single, small change in our DNA can ripple through time, leaving a legacy that's still visible in the eyes of millions around the world. As we've journeyed through the history and science of blue eyes, it's clear that this trait, while rare, has made a significant impact on human populations. However, the prevalence of blue eyes is steadily declining. In the United States, blue eyes were once seen in nearly half the population at the turn of the 20th century. But today, the number has dropped to around 17%. Globally, only 8-10% to of people have blue eyes. This decline is largely due to the increasing genetic diversity in our world. As people from different ethnic backgrounds intermarry, the dominant brown-eyed gene often prevails, leading to fewer blue-eyed offspring. While this means that blue eyes are becoming rarer, they're far from disappearing entirely. In fact, blue eyes continue to captivate us, not just because of their striking appearance, but also because of their rich evolutionary story. As we look to the future, it's likely that blue eyes will remain a minority trait, but one that continues to be cherished and admired a living link to our shared past and a reminder of the fascinating complexities of human genetics. Blue eyes are more than just a striking feature. They tell a fascinating story of human history and genetics. From their sudden emergence to their spread across Europe, blue eyes have captivated us and symbolize beauty and mystery. Despite their rarity today, they remind us how a single mutation can shape the traits we see in ourselves. As we conclude, we'd love to hear about your eye color and its genetic legacy. Share in the comments. If you've enjoyed this deep dive, remember to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.